Welcome back to our second edition of Cage Talk. I'm your host, Buck. I'm my co-host, Nick, here in the studio. Hello. And uh, joining us in the studio right now is Joey Villasenor. Joey? What's up? What's going on, bro? You know... Thanks for coming down, man. Oh, no problem, man. You know, I'm leaving tomorrow morning and, uh, you know, had the opportunity to come aboard and talk to you guys and, and let the people know how I feel and what's going on in my mind. And, you know, I'm excited to do it. Yeah. Very well, good. just to let you know, you're part of history right now because uh, we're on YouTube and you can download us at 1047edgeradio.com. So you guys check us out on YouTube and, and download us. We're going to be huge, bro. I'm thinking we're going to get like a talk show on ESPN or something about like MMA. Dude, that would be great. We don't. You, guys, you guys are kicking it off. You I mean, know? They need to break us off and hook. Can you break Yo, us off and hook us up? You ESPN. want a good show? You want ratings? <laughs> us, right here. ESPN and Fox Sports Net, all them, all them major sporting networks need to start recognizing, you know? They, they yeah. do. And this they're, is- they're covering X Games, right? Well, you know Same what? Thing. This is a different version. It's getting there. They, yeah. they had that 60, 60 minutes you know, thing about yeah. MMA. Yeah. I mean, it's starting to get the recognition. It'll we'll get, get there, there, man. We'll get there. We're going to have a show, baby. Me and you. They just need to quit showing like, amateur-type fighters on them kind of yeah. shows, man. They just right. make us look bad. You're right. All right, well, let's <laughs> dive into it, man. You've got a fight coming up this Saturday in, uh, in Mississippi, and you're going to be taking on David the Crow Loazzo, and uh, it's going to be on Showtime's new venture. They have a show called Elite Extreme Combat. Or Elite XC, and uh, dude, you're on the card. You're on. You're on a pretty, uh, pretty notable card too, because Frank Shamrock is taking on Henzo Gracie. Yep. And uh, now is that? Do you know if that fight's going to happen? Because yeah, I just, it's I just on, read it's on, it's on, uh, it's on, it's on uh, Sure Dog that uh, it's a go. Okay. So you know, I'm excited about that. Yeah. You know, we need that fight. We yeah. We need that fight. You know, we don't. You, yeah, we need that fight. Now, what's the prediction on that? Because I mean, a lot of people are automatically going to say. Frank Shamrock yeah. going to walk through and kill Enzo Gracie. Mm-hmm. But there's people also saying that P- Henzo Gracie is going to walk through Shamrock, too. I mean, you have two camps on sure, that. Sure, but I mean, yeah. I, th- I think the majority of the people are probably saying Shamrock, yeah. just from what I've read in forums and whatnot. So, um, But I mean, that's is that a is that another Pat Militage Enzo Gracie? Kind of? And until he, he gets his proper takedown, he's patient. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, uh, Frank just can't make a mistake or, or it costs him. But, uh, you know, I know Frank Shamrock is going to come in shape. You yeah. Know? Oh yeah, yeah. And absolutely. Uh, that's the thing about Frank Shamrock is uh, <laughs> he's always going to come in shape. And always. He's, he's always going to look, you know, <laughs> look his best, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll yeah. see what happens, man. I, this is a this fight right here really shows everybody who Frank Shamrock is right now. Yeah, okay. that's a good point. I mean, he hasn't. I have a couple things to say about Frank Shamrock. First of all, I am an unabashed Frank Shamrock fan. I love the guy. I love his. I, I mean, I think you know, there's a lot of people out there right now who are saying all sorts of stuff about him. I mean. Josh Thompson, in fact, wore a shirt that said, Frank Glamrock is my, you know, <laughs> at the last fight he fought in. You know, really disrespectful and really rude. Wow. Yeah, I know. It was really, And they used to be teammates. He, you know, Josh Thompson was training at AKA for quite wow. some time. <clears throat> and huh. uh, you didn't hear you didn't hear about that? No, but I, I remember how tight they used to be. I right. think Frank started them off, right? He did, yeah. right, at AKA. And then, um, you know, he came out and put on his shirt that said, you know, that really disrespectful thing. And, right. and you know, there's a lot of people. Say, and then there was the whole Phil Baroni fight with Frank Shamrock that was supposed to happen for a long time. Mm-hmm. And um, there's, you know, bad talk back and forth and yeah. whatever. I've been right. I've been I've been uh, a big fan of his forever. And the last time he lost a fight was in 1997. Yeah. And I think that that says something, even though he did come out of retirement, he's had only a couple fights and he's chosen very wisely his actual his actual fights. Yeah. I think he's going to do great. And, yeah. Uh, he's legit. Legitimate fan over oh, here. Oh yeah, ninety seven. He's giving. He's giving. I, I I respect Frank, but he's giving Frank some mad props. He hasn't lost since ninety seven. <laughs> he got to come out of retirement like two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> I think he's. I think he's gonna win. I mean, if well, I, I think that. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're both right. I think this can be a tough fight for him and Enzo Gracie. I mean, when he Absolutely. fought Caesar Gracie, I mean, that's just. I don't know. That's not. That's a joke. That's that. a joke. Let's not talk about. That's that. a joke. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about your fight. You're gonna be taking on the Crow <laughs> David Loazzo now. How did you get involved in this, first of all? I mean, Showtime. I w- I've, I've always wondered, like, I've been wondering when uh, a subscription channel like HBO or Showtime or Cinemax or somebody like that was going to pick up MMA, and it seems like Showtime is stepping, their, you know, they're testing the water first. So how did you get involved? Uh, well, uh, I signed with, uh, you know, a company that uh, fell through, which was World Fighter. You yeah. know, Frank Shamrock signed, signed with them also, and there were some big names to, to, to fall in line with these guys. And... Uh, from from what I heard about it, uh, Elite's the one who got the Showtime contract. That's who hmm. World Fighter was supposed to was was hoping for. Right. Uh, so, but Elite got the contract, so we were contacted. Right. Um, I, I I really don't know who contacted who, if they contacted us or if we contacted them. 
Right. I, I really don't know. Um, I'm just the vehicle here, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I really don't know. All I know is that uh, uh, they wanted three fights and uh, – they're they're gonna you know they're they're gonna pay me you know the best I've ever been paid in my career and and uh, for somebody to come out and do that for me right off the bat well I'm loyal already yeah you know? yeah, yeah. and I'm excited I mean it's showtime you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah man I'm, absolutely I, you know I'm some kid growing up watching uh you know boxing fights on HBO and Showtime you yeah know? man and, and man for our <coughs> it says something about our sport you know absolutely it's, it's totally come. evolved it's, it's here getting here you know yeah. and now these boxing promoters are like man they want to put their hand in that cookie jar now you know mm, well absolutely. you know as, as long as we're treated uh, uh, well and to kick things off I feel like I'm being treated okay I'm treated yeah. being treated well so you know I'm very excited and I hope it's successful yeah well you're an exciting fighter I mean if a lot of people I mean a lot of people that are joining us and watching on YouTube have never seen you fight I mean you're a very exciting fighter very charismatic in the cage and uh, is this gonna be a ring or a cage uh, from from what I've heard see I think it's a, a cage, man. I'm, dude. I'm totally. I'm okay. So you're in the dark. You just I'm go and fight. I just go and fight. Okay. Um, well, you're a very charismatic fighter, and uh, you know you're you're going against somebody who's a, a very well established fighter. But now, I guess losing his contract to the UFC, a lot of people are saying, uh, you know, he's coming off a loss. You know, and you, I mean, you got you. You're coming off a, a pretty pretty heartbreaking loss mm-hmm. too. I mean, in your in your last Pride fight, you know, and uh, so what. What are you expecting to do when you go out here, man? Because I mean, you and I, we've we've known each other for a while, and I mm-hmm. I know what you're going to go out and do. But I mean, tell the people what you're going to go out and do in this thing with David Loazzo because David Loazzo, he's no chump. Yep. You know, he is no chump. Well, you know, I mean, uh, uh, first off, let me touch on that Robbie incident, and uh, <laughs> you, go, you go, you know, you go four years without losing. Like I, I went yeah, on man. a streak. Yeah, totally. And people can say, well, he lost to Ryo Chonin. Well, if you watch that fight, I didn't lose that fight. Yeah. I got the split decision yank. Yeah, and uh, I won that fight, so I didn't feel lost after that. Fight. Right, I felt some dignity and some pride, you know. Look Absolutely, what I did in pride, you know. Yeah. So here I got the opportunity to, to fight Robbie Lawler. Well, you know, going you know seven years, six years in my profession, not having ever been a uh, caught like that so early. Yeah, you know, and and uh, the, it happens to the best crow cop. Absolutely, man. By random, man. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, you you seen uh, uh, Couture get knocked. I mean, it happens to everybody. This sure. is MMA. Yeah, That's why absolutely. People love it. Yeah. Well, it just unfortunately it, did, it didn't go my way. Yeah, and uh, that's what I said know, when I talked to you after the fight. You just got caught, man. That's it. it. You know, it happens, and and uh, I got caught. And uh, after the fight was over, and I made sure that my coaching staff and my teammates were okay. My girlfriend in the stands and brother in the stands were okay. Yeah, it still was unreal. I yeah. couldn't believe it happened. You know, yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I'm, uh, and. Uh, and then I got back to my room after everybody was, you know, my mom was okay. I made sure that, oh, mom, I'm cool. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not hurt. You yeah. know, nothing hurt. I'm okay. Yeah. Well, when I got back to my room, I totally lost all composure. You know, I was very upset. Um, I found uh, that fire and that anger inside again, you know, and uh, I was reborn that night. And, yeah. And I don't know if people can relate to it, but uh, when you go four years of winning and then having something devastating like that happen to an athlete, which, you know, absolutely I, feel I am, then. Yeah.